very mm. warm welcome as ever to our meeting today, November the 22nd. Um, lots and lots of goodies lined up and I hope that everybody's got mm. their credit cards to hand. Um, but before we do, a little bit of business to, to go through. Um, welcome, um, as ever, I'm Mike Kwasniak, member of the board based in Suffolk in the UK where it's cold and getting colder note sweater. Um, today with us, as ever, is Sheeta, who as well as presenting will be moderating through this session. Uh, and of course, Eckhart, our president is with us. Eckhart, is there anything that you wanted to add before we... Uh, yes, uh, very quickly. Really, two things. Number one, I wish all of us uh, a great uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, that's number one. And number two, there's a, just a, a small thing if you look at our uh, forthcoming meetings uh, at the end of January, we have a very important meeting. That is the annual meeting of our members. And when you look at our at our website, it's named, it's called the uh, N N Naples Marks Board Meeting. Uh, that is not totally correct. The, it, it is really our, the meeting for our membership where we want to inform our members about uh, Naples Market's past and its future, our objectives and so forth, our success story. And at the same time, during that meeting, there's also a short uh, board meeting, but that's really after the annual meeting. So I just want to make the little correction that, or maybe someone could, who's in charge of the website could make a little correction there and rename that event. It's not board meeting. It's really the very important, very significant um, annual meeting for our members. Thank you. Thanks, I got. Brilliant. Um, as I always say every week, please, 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 please visit our website. Everything you need to know about NMUG is now contained within the walls of our fabulous website, um, including classes information. And in case you haven't been to the last couple of meetings, uh, you can now book your places for the classes that are running through January, February and March next year. So hop on to www.naplesmug.com and uh just one announcement before we jump into the meeting. Uh, that is that next meeting is all about AI. Uh, we're privileged to have Jeff Gamut join us next week. He's an incredibly popular tech blogger, podcaster, author. Uh, he's presented at Macworld, Macstock, WordCamp events, and many other conferences. I know already personally that many of you have crossed paths with him on podcasts like the Mac Show and Mac Voices because you've talked about it on the message board. Um, and we welcome Jeff next week with what should be an absolutely fascinating update. So that just leaves me to reintroduce Sheeta, who will be uh, steering <laughs> steering your credit card through the next <laughs> holiday season. And Sheeta, with that, I will stop my share and hand the floor to you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. And I want to say I won't be the only one steering your credit cards. So don't blame, <laughs> don't blame this all on me. OK, we have several people today who are going to uh, talk to you about different things that they feel that you might like to use as gifts this year. So with that, oh, hold on. There we go. So with that, I want to tell you that I will be presenting along with Mike, along with David Abramowitz, and along with Dave McGuire. So with that, I'm going to start with my very first choice. It is an OWC Thunderbolt USB 4 hub. So why did I bring this up? Well, with the new MacBook Pros, they changed some of the ports and they added a HDMI and a SD slot and they took out one of the USB-C ports. So I needed more connections because at any time during the day, I have seven to eight external drives connected to my MacBook. So I bought this hub. I talked to a couple of friends. I looked, looked it up. And some of my friends have one of these and they absolutely love it. And you can use this hub to actually daisy chain other devices, as well as even a monitor. So it is a wonderful, cute little device. And here is the front of it. This is where the power goes. Uh, you plug it into its adapter. And it also has a USB type A connection for anything that you want to plug into the front. 
It has three USB 4 type uh, ports on the back, which is wonderful for me because as I said, I have a lot of external devices connected and some uh, uh, I, you know, I exchange them out, but I need convenience of doing that. So here's the device. It comes with a cable, USB 4 cable. It comes with an adapter. And I put this ruler here so that you can actually see the size of it. It's relatively four and a half by maybe three inches and very um, little depth. And here it is connected to three of the drives that I connected to. And I pulled these out because I wanted you to see that they're all connected in the back. And then I tuck them under my computer stand that I bought from last year and did a presentation on last year. So it is a wonderful, powerful hub that you can attach. And several of my friends have several of these interconnected through their devices. So this is sort of the new hub standard for connecting your devices, your USB-C type devices. So you can get that at OWC and you can use this um, URL that I'll put in the chat so you can take a look and read all about it. It's $129 and you can open up your wallet and purchase that. All right, so my next choice is something that just sorta I needed after a certain point. I just recently purchased the second generation of AirPods Pro that charge wirelessly. I have my Apple Watch and I have my iPhone that also charge wirelessly. So now that all of my devices can charge in the same manner, I went looking for a station, a, a mount, a charging station that I could put all of them on instead of plugging them in individually. And I ended up purchasing this, and I don't even know how to pronounce this. So I'm just going to read the letters. SMTCSL, Smexo, uh, three-in-one wireless charging station. And again, the reason I purchased it, because now all of my devices can charge the same way, and I purchased it for convenience. Now, I looked at a lot of different stands, and the reason I chose this one, and I'll show you that in a second, is because it has a little little treat to it. But to give you um, information about it, it comes with a fast charger adapter. Uh, it's 20 watts. I don't use that one, actually. I actually have a 30 fast charger adapter that I connect. So instead of using this uh, plug, I just use.